Hello there, and welcome to Visual Aid 5002B, the Rev Tracker Validation Walkthrough. So, in this Visual Aid, we're just going to be going through the software validation for Rev Tracker version 1.1.0. And in this, we are going to be validating every single one of the functions and features of Rev Tracker, um, but we will not be taking a look into Excel. However, this will be a complete validation of RevTracker. So if you can, I highly recommend just use this documentation for your organization if it will suffice. Um, change the formatting. But these steps will validate everything. So I highly recommend using this. All right, so to start, we are going to jump right into SVP 5002, the RevTracker software validation. And here we are in Excel with the validation protocol open. So in this one, if we jump down to the installation qualification, we will see that there are only two test cases and these are both manually. So for the first one, we're going to click to open the review tab. The rev tracker group should be visible on the right side of the ribbon. So we'll go here, click review, and there we go, rev tracker. We can now declare that passing. And so we look at 5.2, we find that Rev Tracker group contains only one button, track changes. And there we go. And just like that, we have completed our installation qualification. So moving on to section 6, the operational qualification. The first one is that the Rev Tracker task pane loads correctly. So click the track changes button to open the task pane. And we will give it just a second to load here. There we go. And now the Rev Tracker loads successfully. For an example, see figure one, that's going to be down at the bottom. But for now, we know this is what it's supposed to look like. Awesome. Okay. So sh click the Show Changes button. A comment will appear. So we'll say Show Changes. And a comment will appear here. Let's see what that comment says. And it says, Replaced pass fail with pass and then the user and the date. And that is all correct, so that's awesome. We can now declare this one a passing value. Click the Hide Changes button, and we notice that it disappears. Again, this will be, whoop, cancel. This will be a passing value. So the comment on this cell still exists and says, so, well, the, this feature is that all of your comments will stay. So this comment should say, if this comment is visible, then test case 6.4 is successful. Awesome. That is another passing value. So type pass into the result column of this test case, then click the undo button. Pass, undo. We're going to jump over to the redo feature. Click the redo button. The result for this test case will be automatically filled. Okay, so we click redo. If you notice, that's automatically filled with a pass. This one just reverted back to a pass. Awesome. Moving on to 6.7, the save revision feature. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to check to make sure that the revisions are saved within the document. So we're going to click the show changes button next to rev A in revision tracker section. So we click this button. And a comment will appear on this cell that says replaced blank with test case succeeded by rr.help at engsuite.org. Awesome. We can now mark that as a passing value. Moving on to 6.8, hide previous revisions. We'll click this X button, and the comment on the cell above disappeared. So now we will declare that passing. And for our final, we need to clear this red, red line. So we will click this clear red line. And it's going to give us a warning. Are you sure you want to clear the red line? Yes. And there, no previous versions to display. And then if we click show changes, nothing happens. Awesome. We have now completed our validation. Here's figure one, as I mentioned. So let's go back make sure the IQ and OQ both passed. IQ, pass, pass, OQ, pass, 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 pass. Awesome. Everything was successful. So now 
And there we go. Rev Tracker version 1.1.0 is fully validated because we have successfully executed this validation procedure. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for using Rev Tracker. And I really hope that you use Rev Tracker to help you increase your documentation integrity. If you have any questions, please reach out to our helpline at rr.help at org or go to the website www.engsuite.org. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And please do something awesome. <music>